Caitlin Cunningham was born with a fully functioning heart. But during her first three weeks of life, she caught a viral infection. The infection attacked her tiny heart muscle and sent Caitlin into congestive heart failure. Physicians at the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta Sibley Heart Center used medication to save Caitlin's life and to give her body time to grow and become stronger. Right about eight months old, her uh, heart was, was getting quite weak. They had to sedate her so that she didn't move because any movement could jar her heart and the heart would stop. The only way to save Caitlin's life was through a heart transplant. We waited five weeks for a heart. The entire time she was sedated on life support while we waited. I remember them saying, are you sitting down? And they said, we've located a heart. We went and got Caitlin and brought her down into the halls by the OR and, and said goodbye. She came out of the surgery, we looked at her and she was pink. She had been dusky gray for, for weeks and weeks. And uh, uh, a couple days later, she opened her eyes and uh, a week later, we went home. As far as her heart goes, she hasn't looked back since. We're all very pleased with 16 years that she's gotten out of this heart. It's great news. Unfortunately, the medications that were needed to keep her heart from ejecting um, slowly have injured her kidney to the point that she needed a kidney transplant. She was fortunate to receive a kidney from her father just a few years ago. Unfortunately, that kidney didn't work. Her mother was the second donor, um, and that kidney has done very well. She became type 1 diabetic when she was about 12. And that was you know, just one more thing we had to deal with, and, and she's done fine. What's amazing about Caitlin is that she didn't skip a beat with a heart transplant, two kidney transplants, and having diabetes, and still being able to keep up with her schoolwork and maintaining social friendships and just being a normal teenager out there. Whenever she talks to me, we just start laughing and stuff, and she makes me really happy. I don't know what life would be like without her. I feel great. I love life. <laughs> My body has trained me to be stronger and have to deal with a lot of issues. And that I know I can get through it because I've done it before. There's just nothing more spectacular than organ transplant. They are just transformed. They are just given a new life.